A thousand miles from Rome, in the Danish capital of Copenhagen, cardiologist Dr. Pierre Lev Madsen has been investigating exactly what it is that causes death during crucifixion. The inspiration for his work came from an unlikely source, the Queen of Denmark's Royal Guard. Obviously, soldiers standing on guard has little to do with the crucifixion, but it's, it's the same basic physiological principle that is at stake here. You are upright and you are not allowed to move your legs. Standing in one position for a long time causes blood to pool in the legs, eventually starving the brain of oxygen. The result is a sudden loss of consciousness. Sometimes they might be standing on guard for several hours, and you can't do that standing very still without fainting from time to time. Usually soldiers are told that they should look as if they are standing still, but they would be generally moving in their boots for blood to return. Seeing these symptoms in soldiers prompted Dr. Madsen to consider the effects of being permanently restrained in the upright position, just like the victims of crucifixion. Please lie down here. So he began conducting scientific research. Frederick's got a foot plate to stand on, but he's not moving his legs. His heart rate of 65 times per minute is sending blood into his body. Dr. Madsen's research has revealed that after only a few minutes of restraint, the blood starts to collect in the lower half of the body. With not enough blood reaching the brain, some of his volunteers have fallen into a state of unconsciousness within an hour. This was exactly what happened in crucifixion. But then lying his volunteers down quickly reverses the process. Are you okay, Frank? But for victims attached to a cross, there would be no instant recovery. Dr. Madsen believes the whole process was meant to cause immense suffering before death. Crucifixion was a horrible way of killing people because it took so long. It's a slow way of dying, and that's the reason they used crucifixion in the first place. According to biblical accounts, Jesus died after six hours nailed to the cross. But some victims of crucifixion could have endured days of suffering. Someone might have survived on the cross for as long as four or five days until they died of dehydration. When you go without water for several hours, you just get very thirsty. But when you go several days, then you start to get woozy, and eventually you go into system failure. Your organs shut down. In crucifixion, the Romans had perfected a form of killing that took torture and pain to a new level. 